Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, reports of cattle rustling were widely reported around Stillwater Saturday as the Oklahoma State Cowboys placed their brand on the defending Big 12 champion Texas Longhorns. 42 to 16 was the final and with me in studio, the head coach of Cowboy football, Bob Simmons. Coach, uh, congratulations on a very impressive victory. Thanks, Paul. Uh, it was a fun victory. Our kids went out and played well. Uh, Texas is a good program and uh, it, it was just it was a good day yesterday. Everybody, uh, everything fell into place for us, offense and defense, and it was a way to really start the uh, Big 12 conference here at home. Well, we've got lots of highlights to look at, so we're going to get right to the action. Good crowd on hand. It was FCA day in Stillwater. Lots of high school kiddies up to watch the uh, football game. Your wife, Linda Simmons, gave the uh, address to those kids. We win the toss and choose to put the defense on the field first. Yeah, the last couple of weeks uh, we have won that toss, and the defense has gone out and really done a good job of three and out here. Uh, their big back starts to run with Ricky Williams. And uh, what we had to do, Paul, was really contain him, not only contain him, but contain James Brown. and. Uh, he goes back right off and throws. This is a third down situation. Pretty good coverage there. Uh, and then we end up forcing a three and out. And that's what basically we've been doing uh, our first four ball games. And we actually get ourselves a pretty good field position. RW uh, has had another stellar day re uh, uh, returning kicks. We're, we're probably one block away on this return in, in, in terms of bringing it back. But our offense comes out. We're running inside. That's Nathan from a handoff from uh, Tony doing a good job. Uh, this is Brian Akins, who is probably one of his longest runs of the day, did a good job for us. But our offense is in sync. This is a nice uh, throw to Sean Love. Sean Love has really stepped up in the next, uh, last couple of weeks and doing a good job. But we've really moved the ball down the field. Uh, you mm -hmm. can see Tony goes back, good read, goes through his reads, makes the right throw. Uh, and then you see Sean Love uh, doing a good job after he's catching the ball. Uh, Alonzo Mays, a nice very job of smart, kind of screening. Very there. smart block by Alonzo. All he did was stood there and screen the guy off, and Sean Love got additional yardage. And uh, here's a sweep, which didn't look good. Uh, we, we didn't block it that well, but uh, Nathan makes him, and Justice makes a pretty good run. And this is what Tony does best. Nice option call by Les Miles, and good blocking at the point of attack, and we take it in on that first drive for a touchdown. Well, great ball control. Opening possession for Oklahoma State, a five-play, 69-yard scoring drive, one minute, 42 seconds off the clock, and we see Tony Lindsay taking it the final 11 yards for the six points. Tim Sidness' extra point was good, and things are going in the right direction. 7-0 Cowboys, and it's time to put the defense back on the field, hoping for another three and a half. That's right. I tell you, the, the, the defense, Paul, has really been playing outstanding, and uh, Texas comes out and really tries to establish the run, but. Uh, RW comes up on a, on a short yardage situation, does a good job. This is a great play. What you're going to see is all 11 players on top of Ricky Williams. And I thought this is an example of what defense is all about. Running to the ball, making sure that he doesn't get started. And at the end of this play, all 11 guys are on top of him. Jamal Williams, uh, all the defensive back, and that's just a great hustle play. Well, oh, great effort defensively. 249 yards last week against Rice. This week, only 79 yards against the Cowboy. And again, good. Uh, Good coverage in the secondary, forcing another punt, a second three and out and two possessions, and the offense taking over again in good field position. Again, this is a, a nice run by RW. Here again, we didn't get great blocking, but we got great field position. Nice call by the offense to uh, get Alonzo into the passing game here. Uh, this is actually called the wrong way. We don't normally run the option into the sideline, uh, but we come back out and Tony makes a nice throw down the field to Alonzo, who picks up about 25, 30 yards. We're back in, in, the, in, in the red zone uh, and really looking to now go up uh, two touchdowns. Well, big reception there by Alonzo. Three receptions on the day for a total of 58 yards. And here we see again the option keeper. Yeah, well, part of our game plan was, was really to make Tony Lindsay uh, one of our backs. And he gained 126 yards and 19 carries. It was a good run by the fullback, and then he takes it over on a, on a short yard. Run. Well, eight play, 56 yard scoring drive, and coach, we're going to see uh, something a little different yeah, here this, on the extra this, point. This is a different wrinkle. We worked on something in the off week and uh, thought that if they wasn't prepared for it, that we could take advantage of it. And this is just a snap to uh, Kevin Brown. They did not have enough people over there. Uh, our blocking was uh, pretty good. He makes an inside cut, and instead of going up uh, by uh, 14, we go up 15. Minutes. Well, 15 0 lead, and here late in the first quarter, the defense back at work. Defense is playing stellar. That defensive line is controlling the offensive, their offensive line and getting off blocks. Defensive backs are doing a good job of breaking. That was Ricky uh, Thompson. This is a great play by Trent Alexander. He had an exceptional game, had over nine tackles, 
two fumble recoveries. Nice read coming off the corner. Good low tackle on James, putting it down because James is a heck of an athlete and just a good defensive player. Well, big challenge uh, keeping containment on an outstanding quarterback, forcing the punt here. RW takes it. Well, I tell you what, uh, this is uh, magic because now we take the return to their sideline. Great block, and this is a great block coming back. And uh, this time, uh, RW was not to be denied. Uh, he's going all the way. And the uh, only thing I wish he could do is just hold that ball all the way to the end zone. A 78-yard punt return by R.W. McCorders. And, Coach, you think eventually punters are going to learn to try to kick the ball away, away from him? Away from him, huh? <laughs> that's, that's a great block, but I think that's Marie Simpson. Uh, and, and, again, anytime you, you, you have a long return, you want people to make the right decision. There's no flags here. Uh, you know, our kids did a great job, and R.W. did a great job of executing that return. Well, second long one in two weeks, and as you mentioned, uh, good discipline with no uh, with no blocks in the backs or clips of that nature. Here, the Tim Sidness PA2 T makes it a 22 to nothing ball game at the end of the first quarter. Now, the OSU offense on the field starting at their own eight. Well, I tell you, it, you know, the fullback was a big part of our game plan, but our offensive line does a good job. And uh, I think this is Chris. He comes in and throws a nice pass on the inside throw to Sean Love again. We had success at this play the first quarter, and Sean Love come back and make an exceptional catch on the ball. Uh, and the offense is playing well. This is, uh, uh, I think this is Bob's running hard inside. I thought the offensive line did a great job of blocking and fullback did a hard, tough job of running. Uh, we get down, I think uh, that was a fourth down call, which we needed that a fullback guy that we go back to our inside running game and, and really trying to pound him and come off now with a nice throw to Alonzo on a seven route. Nice throwing catch between Chris and Alonzo. Nice read. He comes back to Alonzo and really puts it over the defensive back head for a nice throwing catch. 23-yard reception by Alonzo Mays gives the Cowboys a first down in Texas territory, but one of the few mistakes of the game. Right? Yeah, this is, uh, if this is the interception, this is a poor read. He's really trying to force the ball in here. What he should have done is just really thrown it away, but uh, we didn't make many mistakes yesterday, Paul, and, and that's one of the reasons that we really have not success. Well, our defense comes right back on the field, and Jamal does a nice job of laying a great hit uh, on James Brown, and there's Trent. He's always around that football. He sees he's trying to spin here. And, so when he spins, he gets caught by Jamal, and <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> that hurt just watching it. That's then. right. Well, after the turnover, the, defensive, uh, the defense responds with a turnover of their own, and the Oklahoma State offense takes over the Texas 26. And again, we, we put Tony back in because he's a very much a part of our game plan and running the ball. This is a nice cut by Jamal Fobb uh, to gain man yards and keep that first down here. Uh, this is an option pass run. Uh, by Tony, he makes a decision to go. Uh, he almost scores. He's about on the one-yard line. Uh, fourth and goal again. We're, we're interested. We give it to our big fullback, Kevin, and he just he gets it in. Well, eight-play, 28-yard scoring drive after the turnover, and the Cowboys on top, 29 nothing as we're going into halftime. And coach, uh, we've got a habit of saying this for the last couple of weeks, but uh, don't mind it. That, yeah. <laughs> That has to be as an impressive, a complete half of football as we've witnessed. Well, it, it was, Paul. I think uh, all phases of our game came together. Um, the offense and defense, uh, you know, it sounds like habit, but they've been playing well. No mistakes. And your special teams really uh, did a great job. Uh, Tim Sittness came in and did a nice job. And R.W. McQuarters with the punt return. And then our punter. Uh, Jason Davis gave us great field position. And also Schwedman doing a good job of kicking well, the ball through the end zone. Well, he did a nice job of, of putting them down and, and, and making sure that they didn't bring the ball out. All phases did a nice job. Well, we'll be back to take a look at second half action after this. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, Coach, 29 nothing lead at halftime. You had to feel good about that, but I'm sure you were stressing to play four quarters of football. Well, we, we did, Paul. We talked at halftime just about coming out and trying to play that uh, the second half like we played the first half and, and not make mistakes. And uh, I, I thought for the most part the third quarter we, we played a, a little bit uh, inconsistent uh, coming out and, and uh, came out a little bit flat, gave them too good a field position. We didn't move the ball that first drive. And, and you can see here we got an interception. Nice play by Kevin Williams, but he gets, strips, he, uh, gets stripped of the ball. And, in that situation, what we got to do is fall on the ball, not try to pick it up and make big plays. But we kept their drive in line here on defense, and, and uh, they're moving the ball, and, and uh, our, our defense uh, starting to get a little bit tired here. But this, this is a, a heck of a throw by James Brown uh, to uh, number seven. But uh, our defensive back fell down, and that, that was Kevin 
But that, that drive was only because we, we, it was our mistakes that we had. The important thing, though, is you need the offense to answer, and that's just what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. You have to come out with an answer. Our offense did a nice job of moving the ball back down the field. Tony Lindsay running the option for about, uh, about 10 yards. We're, we're getting first downs. Uh, this is a, a big play here. We, we call it Alonzo wasn't open. They hold him. Tony scrambles here. Uh, and you can see how much speed that this young man does have. Now, what yeah. exactly is that? Is there just one formation or one receiver in the in the pattern on that? Well, I, it, it was really two receivers in the patterns. They they jammed up uh, Alonzo Mays. He looked down and couldn't find the other receiver, and he did the smart thing. Smart thing down is make something happen, uh, and he did that. He's made very good decisions, <laughs> made great decisions throughout the game. He did yeah. a nice job of tucking the football and running with it when there was nothing there. Didn't try to force it. No. 55-yard no. touchdown run here by Tony Lindsay. As we see the Cowboys answer to Texas's score with a 80-yard four-play drive of their own. I tell you, Paul, that was important. It was important for us to come out and answer that score because we didn't want Texas to get that momentum. And it puts us back up uh, by the 36-8. Uh, then our defense comes out and. And uh, we'll start playing a little bit better here. This is James. Uh, this is uh, uh, not James. Ricky Wade. Ricky Wade is mm -hmm. really trying to. He's running a little bit tougher now, and uh, they got a little bit more momentum. They're throwing the ball. This is a great play by RW out there playing man-to-man -man covers by itself. And uh, I think this particular drive, we keep keep them out. We change ends. Uh, this is a good scramble play here, and, and uh, this is their fourth down situation, uh, which they keep their drive alive. Nice tough run by by Ricky. And uh, this is where we did not get lined up. Uh, we didn't have enough guys on that side of the ball, and they came out and just quick snapped us. And we talked about that, that we really got to get lined up. But our offense comes back and moves the ball. Nice decision by Nathan getting outside, getting 10 yards, and now he's running hard inside. The one thing we wanted to do was run time off the clock, pound them inside. The offensive line responded. Jamal comes in after Nathan does a good job, and you see we're averaging about. Uh, uh, probably eight or nine yards of crack. That offensive line did a good job up front. Nice hard running by those two young backs. Well, as you said, Coach, it's so important to come back and score after Texas does. And again, Oklahoma State uh, does exactly that. Ball control here as they drive down the field. And as you mentioned, not just great running, but the offensive line really seems to be controlling the well, line. Well, I tell you, the offensive line has been the key. And uh, what we didn't want to do is really turn the ball over. This is a nice decision by Tony. He got the first down. He kept the chains moving. Eventually we stopped, but uh, Tim Sidney's came on, kicked a 35-yard field goal. Now we go up three. At least we answered part of that score. That's right. A 12-play, 70-yard drive took over six minutes off the clock. Makes it 39-16. Or yes, 39-16. to now Texas with a last gasp effort. Yeah, Texas is running hard. I tell you, Ricky got got hit a lot. <laughs> and there was about three or four guys that really did a nice job of stripping in the ball. We get the ball back here. We're in in. in uh, Probably the red zone. I was looking for us to go upset another touchdown here, but they their defense held. Again, it's important for us to get points on the board. Tim said this is in a groove now. He came in and kicked another one. We go up 42 to 16. Uh, that's all she wrote. 37 yard field goal, 42 16 final. Coach, and I was very impressed. There wasn't much talk throughout the course of the week, but just a very confident, business like approach by the players. Well, you know, this football team has been playing well over the last couple of weeks, and uh, there is a confidence that we could play with anybody in the conference. Uh, and we felt that if we go out and execute our game plan, that we have an opportunity to win the game. And that's exactly what happened. Well, we'll be back with more after this timeout. TD's Two Minute Drill, sponsored by Farm Credit. For ag, for life. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. This week on TD's Two Minute Drill, Tom Dorado and Wade Pearson takes us down to the sidelines for a close-up look at this week's game. It was obvious from the outset this was not just another football game. Cowboys turn the heat up from the opening snap.
As the afternoon wore on, the hits just kept on a coming. This would indeed be a Saturday to remember. As you would imagine, the Cowboy locker room was electric. Yeah, we were confident that we can come out here and uh, run not just on the edge, but inside and pass the ball also. And uh, we just did that and came out with the victory. Put ourselves in position to make some, you know, to make some serious strides this season towards building this program back to national prominence and prominence in the Big 12, and that's what, you know, that's what our goal is. I knew what their game plan was going to be to get a ball to Ricky, get the ball to Ricky, and let him do his thing. But um, we've been playing hard no defense all year, and uh, the Lord put us in the right positions at the right time, and we made plays. The kid, I tell you, great victory, Paul. One of the, again, I've said this before, one of the ones that greatest victories that I've been associated with and uh, uh, it's, it's good for Oklahoma State, it's good for the, our, our young football team to experience playing in big ball games uh, because uh, we have another one coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well five wins and five attempts it doesn't get much better than that so far. <laughs> well, we'll come back and take a look at the Colorado Buffalo after this. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, Coach, week five is in the books, and let's take a look at the current Big 12 standings. Ah, Looks perfect. good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks very good. Oklahoma State on top of the Big 12 South with an undefeated conference and season record. A&M behind us, also undefeated. And yeah, I tell you, Texas A&M is playing well. Texas Tech, and uh, uh, again, then you got Texas and Oklahoma and Baylor at the bottom. Now let's take a look at the Northern Division. Kansas uh, with a big victory over Oklahoma this week. Nebraska obviously up there on top, but uh, things kind of shaking out as expected, I guess. Well, it's, it's going to be a different race. Kansas eventually is going to have to play Nebraska in that conference, and that's going to decide. I, I expect Nebraska to win that, that, that division. Well, Coach, 5-0, and undefeated this week is homecoming, 6 p.m. kickoff, a, a televised game nationally, and the Colorado Buffalo are coming to town. Well, I tell you, the Buffs are coming to town, and, and uh, as you know, they – they, uh, they lost last week to A&M, but they're still a very talented football team. Here you see Hessler, uh, who actually played two years ago and, and did a good job. And uh, their defense uh, is a, a very strong and, and active defense. They've been in every, every ball game, Paul. Uh, they've just came up short, but, but that's a football team that's got a lot of talent on it. That's Phil Savoy, who's probably one of their top receivers coming back this year. Uh, and I expect a, a very exciting ball game here in Stillwater. Got to come out for it, though. Any similarities or difference between the Buffaloes of the past? Uh, well, they're a little bit different because they're a little bit more pass-oriented, and, and I know that uh, that's been Rick's style, but uh, they have a lot of talent on that football team. Well, it'll be a great game, folks. We want to thank you for joining us, and we want to encourage you. Six o'clock kickoff this Saturday, homecoming for Oklahoma State. Get there early, enjoy the festivities, and pack the house as Oklahoma State puts their undefeated record on the line against the Colorado Buffaloes. We look forward to seeing you again next week right here on The Bob Simmons Show. Good night. <laughs>